guys, I'm Laura Vitali. No, I didn't want to say that. Hi guys. Now today I wanted to make this video because it has been so highly requested, so I figured I'd bring it to you. I'm in my living room right now. I'm very casual. I got a t-shirt and sweatpants, actually just yoga pants. And um, I figured, you know, we're talking about house stuff, so I want it to be kind of really comfortable and cozy. And it's really a video about how I stay organized, how I keep my home organized, clean, um, all that fun stuff on a schedule. Kind of what are my tips and tricks that I've learned along the years to keep everything running smoothly. Now, first thing I want to mention before I go into more detail is that I know that what works for me might not work for everyone. So some of you might be able to relate and some of you might be not. So kind of just keep that in mind. Then maybe you can use some of these tips to, you know, incorporate into your life and make it work for you. Now, the thing you have to know about me is that I love a clean home. I cannot function if a home is not clean and organized. I know that sounds crazy, but I was raised, you know, my mom is the same exact way. I mean, to the T. She's a little bit even more extreme than I am. I don't think I'm extreme, but she's absolutely extreme. Um, I just function really good when a house is, is clean and I don't have to worry about if someone drops, comes over unannounced and the house is a mess. I don't want to worry about that. I feel like that's just stress I don't need. So what I've learned is to kind of keep my home clean and running smoothly at all times. Now, the first thing I want to no, I'm going to kind of split these up in pieces. I'm going to do the kitchen, living room and dining room, like offices and bathrooms. Hopefully that makes things a little bit easier. Now, the first thing I do uh, every single morning, every single morning, as soon, I'm going to start with the bedrooms, our master bedroom anyway. As soon as I'm done having my cup of coffee and I'm going into the bathroom to kind of get ready for the day, before I even do that, I make sure the bedroom is clean. It takes me about five to six minutes, literally no longer than that, to make the bed, to dust uh, everything, you know, but it takes me literally a minute to just take, um, you know, cloth and, and some uh, spray and just dust everything really, really easily. So the bedroom gets done in minutes and same thing goes for the bathroom. Now what I think a good tip is for bathrooms, we have two bathrooms in our house that we use on a daily basis. The bathroom in the basement doesn't get used every day so I'm not going to talk about that. But the two bathrooms that we do have, the one thing I cannot stress enough and I've told this to everyone I know, keep cleaning supplies in both bathrooms. You don't want to have to run from one bathroom to another to grab, you know, your your rag or whatnot. You want to make sure that both bathrooms are equipped with the stuff you need to clean it fast. That way, as soon as you're done getting ready in the morning, I just run through both bathrooms. It takes me maybe two to three minutes with a wet rag and some spray, disinfecting spray, and I just clean everything down. Along with that is in my shower, I keep a spray bottle and a rag so that way when I'm done the shower, I kind of quickly wipe it down. That way the bathroom is clean at all times. Now I do clean, I do mop the bathroom floors every other day. I don't mop the bathroom floors every day just because it's not necessary. And then the days I do that is the days I mop everything. So I mop all the floors, bathroom floors, bedroom floors, all in the same time. Now. I don't use the same products because we have like wood flooring for our uh, dining room, living room, bedroom, and hallway, and then we have uh, different flooring in the bathrooms. So, and the kitchen, the bathrooms in the kitchen have the same flooring. So I use two different products, and I just get it done. So that's it. In the morning, as soon as you're done getting ready, clean your bathroom, clean your ma master bedroom. In ten minutes, you're done, which is really really helpful, I think anyway. Also. Now, talking about the kitchen, okay, the first thing I want to mention is you shouldn't have anything in your kitchen that does not belong there. You shouldn't have piggy banks, little aquariums, nothing. Nothing that doesn't belong in the kitchen should be in the kitchen because you don't want to clutter it with knickknacks because that's not the point of being in the kitchen. You want the kitchen to function like a well-oiled machine because you want to be able to make great food, you know, you don't want to feel like, oh, I got to go in the kitchen, I got to clean the kitchen first. I cannot cook in a dirty kitchen. My kitchen has to be clean at all times. I can't even make a cup of coffee if my kitchen's a mess. So what I do, as soon as we're done eating, as soon as we are done eating, I get th things done. M clear the table, 
load the dishwasher, wash the stove, clean the counters, everything done in about 10 minutes. Now obviously that's going to vary depending if you have a lot of people in your, in your family or not, but for me it's just my husband and I and we don't have kids. So on a day to day basis it's just him and I at dinner. It takes me less than 10 minutes to clear up after dinner, lunch and breakfast. I did that completely the opposite, but you know what I mean. And that way just things get done. And I'm going to give you the biggest tip, the biggest tip I can give you in general. Do not procrastinate. If you procrastinate, oh, I'll do those dishes later. Oh, you know what? I'll do it later. Before you know what, you've got dishes piling up and then it's like, I don't want to even walk into the kitchen because it's just a mess and you don't want to feel that way. So, as soon as you're done eating breakfast, when you're putting your bowl into the sink, wash it, wash your pot you made your oatmeal in, wash your coffee mug, put everything away and it's like nothing ever happened. So, that's kind of something I always want to make sure everybody knows when they're asking me how I stay on schedule and whatnot. Just constantly clean up after yourself. I mean, I mentioned it on Lauren in the Kitchen and I really do mean it. Now, while we're still on the topic of the kitchen, I want to kind of share with you a quick way that I kind of think uh, that, I, that I do when something I do, I should say, when I'm going food shopping. Before you go food shopping, make sure your fridge is clean. Make sure everything is clean. Make sure that you've got all your shelves ready for the new food to go in because I can't tell you how many times I used to come home and then it's like, oh, I gotta clean the kitchen, the fridge now. And then your groceries wait on the floor or on the table or whatnot. If you have your, your fridge already clean, your fridge and fr freezer, when you come home from the grocery store, everything just goes boop, 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 right in the fridge and you're done good to go. If you, I know, I mean, I personally have designated places in my fridge and freezer for things. So I know that the top portion of my freezer is like for like frozen berries and pastries and things like that. And then it's, and then it's vegetables and then it's, um, uh, like meats and then seafood because I don't want to put the meat at the very top because if something happens where we thought the meat juices will kind of run all over the plates. I don't want that. So I put the meat and seafood in the very last two shelves. Now I do want to mention that I will, if you want me to, I will kind of take you, uh, maybe make a video in depth about how I really organize my kitchen, um, how I utilize my space. You know, let me know if you want that because all my cabinets are organized, my Lazy Susan is organized, everything's labeled, which might sound crazy to a lot of people and you might think to yourself, Girlfriend, all you do is clean and organize all day, but I really don't. It's because I've created a system where once everything is in its place, once everything has a home, things just get done a lot quicker. When I take laundry upstairs and fold it, I just don't have to even think twice about where it has to go. Everything has a spot. When I bring something from the grocery store, I know where it goes. It's easy. My husband knows where it goes. He takes some stuff. I take some stuff. We put it away and then you're done. So let me run you. Uh, through my sort of living room and dining room. Now, first of all, when you walk into my home, right to the left of the door, well, to the right of the door, there's a closet. And that's the closet for all of our shoes and our coats and jackets and things like that. So that's kind of where everything, all the jackets go and doesn't really get used all year because obviously in the summer and spring, we don't wear jackets. But all the shoes, they go into that closet unless they're in our regular closets, in our bedroom closet. So that's, that. And then now for dusting and mopping and things like that, I dust um, pretty much every day. I take just a wet uh, like wipe, like a detergent wipe. They're you know meant for wiping your furniture. And I just take one every morning. It takes me two seconds and I go over my coffee table, my end tables, my lamps, my little china cabinet. It takes me two minutes and it's dust free. So that's really important. And I get that out of the way immediately. Now for my dining room, my dining room is really informal. It's not like big fancy dining room with like china cabinets everywhere. So it's like my table, I've got my hutch and everything gets used in my home. We don't have towels that are hanging on the bathroom that are not able to be used. We don't have dishes we can't eat out of. Everything is you can use in our, in our home. So that's uh, really important to us. So things get used every day, so they get cleaned every day. We eat at the dining room table. So I always wipe it down after we're done eating. I sweep daily. Every single day I sweep. I mop every other day unless I'm having people over and things spill on the floor or whatnot. But other than that, I, I mop every other day. Um, and again, that takes me no time at all. It's really a no-brainer. 
so once you have that done, really it's all about maintaining. My husband maintains his office, that's his room, that's the room he takes care of, um, and I maintain my makeup room, which is, I mean, it's always, things are always put away and it's always easy to take care of. Now, I mainly take care of the home on the inside and my husband takes care of the home on the outside. All the gardening, all the grass being cut, things need water, being kept up, that's his job. So that's all him and he does a great job at keeping it tidy. Um, so let me run you through kind of what I do in a day. Now I know I'm pretty, I'm very fortunate to work from home most of the time. I do go to the nursery with my husband quite often, but for the most part, I now just work solely from home. So I wake up really early, around 6, 6.30. I work out for about an hour, and then as soon as I'm done working out, I eat my breakfast, wash those dishes, go to the bathroom, you know, take a shower and whatnot. As soon as I'm done that, make the bedroom, clean the bathroom done and then clean my husband's bathroom because by then he's already at work. So get those two done, which is super important. Now by this time, it's not even 10 o'clock. It's really early. So by then, I just kind of have the day to clean up. I walk into the living room. I dust a little bit. Uh, on the days I don't mop, I don't mop. I just dust. The kitchen's already clean because I keep it clean every day. The dining room is already clean because I keep it clean every day. As far as laundry, now, laundry I do every couple of days, I do a load. So we've got our darks, we've got our light colored, and then we have our whites. So every couple of days I do a load. It could be a load of the darks, it could be a load of the whites, it could be a load of the light colors. It really depends, I don't have a set date for things, and that's something I really wanna stress about. Do not set yourself up and like write down, on Mondays I'm gonna clean the bathrooms, on Tuesday, because you might not, that might not work out. If you've got work, if you have to go somewhere, that, that doesn't work. So Keeping things tidy is important, but also working with your own time is really important. Now, once a week is the day where I take the couches and move them away from the walls, and I clean behind the couches, I clean under things, the radiator, you know, the, the trim and everything of the house. I do that once a week. It's never the same day. It usually changes uh, depending on what I have going on that week. It's, it's different. So I never say every Monday I'm going to do this because next Monday might be at a business, me at a business meeting. So anyway, by 10 o'clock, I'm done. So now it's time where I go to work. I either am testing recipes, filming videos, you know, uh, writing for my blog or whatnot, constantly keeping busy. And then when lunchtime comes, we eat, I clean, done. I mean, I hope this is all making sense to you, but the biggest thing I guess you can take away from this is to just be on top of things. Just constantly clean up after yourself is the answer to this question of how I keep things tidy. Uh, I don't believe in storing things and storing things and storing things. If you haven't used it, this is what my mother used to always say. If you haven't used it in the last six months, it means you haven't used it when it was hot or cold. If it doesn't have a value, like a sentimental value, or it doesn't make you money, get rid of it. Why are you keeping it for? I mean, it's, it's, don't just keep junk in the house to get dust all over and that you have to just keep cleaning. Just keep things that you use, keep things that mean something to you, um, you know, and that way you have a lot less junk to clutter up the house, which I think is really important as well. So that's really the basics. I mean, keep your bathrooms cleaned every morning, uh, clean every other day, clean the floors, clean your kitchen every single day, um, dust every day, because I don't like dust, makes my allergies act up, and uh, laundry, you know, every couple of days do a load. Don't wait until you've got three laundry baskets full of laundry because then you will give yourself a nervous breakdown at the thought of even having to do all that laundry and having to put it away. So a load here and a load there makes things go so, so quickly. Pop it in the washer, pop it in the dryer, fold it, put it away right away. Do not let it sit in the dryer forever because that's when things start to get ugly because then when you go to do another load of laundry, you have forgotten that you have got that one still to put away and now you're just making yourself stressed out. So when you put one in, take it out of the dryer, fold it really quickly, put it away. That's it. It's simple. I mean, it's basic things that I'm sure you all know. Um, and finally, I will leave you with one of my favorite things that I have ever learned. It's to take 10 minutes every single night before you go to bed and pick up any cups, 
pick up any things that are laying around that don't belong. You know, if you've got your coffee mug in the living room, pick it up. Even if you just put it in a sink, in the kitchen sink, that way at least everything is all together. Um, just, you know, take 10 minutes to clear things out. I like to do my nails at night, so I want to make sure I put my nail polish and stuff away. Uh, but that is it. I hope this made sense to you. Let me know if you want an in-depth sort of room to room. I can show you how I keep things um, organized and things like that. I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye!